Folks, if you are looking to get started in Cleveland real estate, this is where you want to be. There is no place, no place on this earth where people are breaking down rental property investments for investors like you, right? So whether you're a first-time investor trying to get your first rental property or you're a seasoned investor looking to expand the portfolio, we are here to help you out. Deals, advice, education, the whole nine. Today we're going to be going over a great investment property for a client of mine from Texas. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise. I will be here helping you guys, right? Helping you guys invest in real estate. More specifically, though, today I'm helping my man, Matt. Matt, you're from Frisco, Texas, and you've been building a rather large and robust portfolio with me here uh, in the Cleveland market, right? You're out there in Texas. Cleveland, much more affordable. I got another banger for you today, brother. You are going to love this one. Side by side, bringing in a ton of rent, dog. Uh, before I jump into the numbers, I need everybody to know something. Unless you're Matt from Frisco, Texas, you are not watching this bad boy live, okay? I sent this to Matt privately many, many months ago for me and Matt to do this deal. That's how this program works, right? After the deals are done, the dust settled many months later, I released the videos publicly on Holton Wise TV for you all to learn. So if you want to work with me in real time like Matt has been doing, click the notes below after this video. Book a free call at your team. You can work with me. Well, can't even say my words. You could work with me in real time like my dude Matt has been doing to build that portfolio. Now that I've got all that out of the way, I am going to take a quick break. And when we get back on the other side of said break, Matt, I'm going to bust out the numbers. And I think you are going to want to jump on this sucker immediately. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's gonna be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's gonna be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, y'all. Let's pull up this bad boy. Woo, I love this one, man. I love this one, okay? Look at this thing. Damn, I was hoping the photo was going to get bigger than that. Hold on. Ah, look at that. Look at it. It's a beauty right here, folks. This is a side-by-side, -side, okay? I love side-by-side -side duplexes, folks. Side-by-side -side duplexes provide you more rent per unit, number one. Number two. They provide you fewer turnovers during your time owning it. The tenants essentially have like a full single-family home. It's like literally two single-family homes smashed together. There's even a big concrete wall in between their basements. So no shared laundry, no panty theft, no friggin' uh, soap. I was going to say Charmin, but that's toilet paper. I don't think they do laundry soap. But you know what I'm talking about, right? Like shared laundry, it's a problem. Up down units, tenants fight more often than side by side tenants, right? I'd say, hey man, if you could just go ahead and buy all side by side units, right? But the problem is in the Cleveland market, about 95% of the units uh, built are up down. So it's very rare that we get big old side by sides like this. So whenever we do, we got to jump on them quick. And that is why, folks, it just hit the market today. I'm out here, all right, making this video. 139 is what they're asking. I don't think you're picking it up at 139. I think you got to go 145 to get a shot at this one, right? This is going to have multiple offers. This is a premium asset. Now, as far as current rents, one unit's paying 750, the other's paying 950. All right, let me show you the photos. They're both pretty darn nice. One is a little bit nicer, right? It's a little bit more updated. And the photos you see are prior to them putting the tenants into it, okay? All right. I thought there was going to be more photos. I looked at this earlier. I could have swore we had more, but guess we didn't. All right, well, just those nine, or eight, eight rather. All right, that is the newer, more updated unit. They rented that for 950 The other one, don't have photos, but presumably more outdated. They're only getting 750 Now, as for market rents, that's the numbers I like to run. I like to run the market rents because 
that's what you should really anticipate, right? That's like the true like ownership experience, right? What the last landlord got one time shouldn't really matter, right? Now, I get a lot of naysayers out there sometimes. They're like, oh, well, yeah, dude, you know, if the rent's 750 and you're telling me market rent's 850, you're just making it up, so I buy the property. Yeah, you could think that, right? And some people do stuff like that. But you know what? It cuts both ways, and that is how you know we are truly open and honest here on Hold Wise TV. They're getting 750 and they're getting 950 for the unit I just showed you those photos of. I think market rent for both units is 900 Yeah, that's right. I don't think it's practical to assume you're going to continue to get 950 out of that unit. I don't know what the situation is. It could be a one-off, could be a pet fee, but like I don't think 900 is practical. I think nine. I mean, I don't think 950 is practical. I think 900 is the true, the true uh, market rent of that unit. I think that's what we could replicate on a regular basis. So, with that in mind, of the twenty-one thousand six hundred dollars that is scheduled to come in every single year, you don't get to keep it all. You're going to spend approximately eleven grand. Okay, having Holton Wise manage this asset for you, leaving you with about ten and a half of pure cash flow over the long haul. Don't mean you're going to make it every single year, folks. I'm saying that's what it should all average out to. Now, at a price point of one forty-five, which is six thousand dollars more than the list price, you put down thirty-six. Bank kicks in one hundred eight, and I project this out to a fourteen percent cash on cash return, and you have a solid. Solid, rare side-by-side -side investment in a glorious C-grade neighborhood, right? Old Brooklyn neighborhood. We got friggin' hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of duplexes in Old Brooklyn, and I wish they were side-by-sides like this bad boy. This is going to be a nice property. So you should absolutely make your move, and 145 should be the minimum you want to bid. If you want to go a little bit higher to snatch this, I don't think that'd be a mistake. Uh, just so you know, one other thing. Uh, it is not yet lead certified. This particular zip code is not due to uh, get lead certified by the end of the month. But based on the unit, I don't think you're going to run into a lot of problems. It appears to be vinyl sided to me, uh, and I think we got the vinyl windows, and it looks like it's in really good shape. So I think getting through lead certs on this property should be no big deal. For anybody out there watching who's got no clue what these lead certs are, uh, I got a video in the notes below, you'll want to check that out because every landlord in Cleveland is required to adhere to the semi-annual, no, semi, is it semi-annual or biannual? It's two years. What's that? Semi-annual or biannual? Is that the same thing? Is one every six months? Because like one, semi-annual, biannual. That bi would be two. So biannual would be every six months, not biannual. It's semi-annual. Because it's some, t yeah, semi annual. Every two years, you got to go through those folks. The link on how to do that is below. Let me know what you want to do on this one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.